I don't even know what to say no more. I've done this video like three times. And I met the hockey. I was like, I don't know how pregnant women eat. I'm not showing you nothing. You can't see nothing. And I just, I've been practicing since getting raspy. Cross more truer. In terms to what extremes? My mom. I'm sorry and don't worry, I got my brush too. Time for yourself. You always got the truth. You get talk, except my fingernails. I usually do them a little better. They are. My hands are just. It's me, it's Jessica. Welcome to another one of my videos. I know, I'm not even awake right now. Um, today is actually March 26th, 2013. I tried to make this video yesterday. I brought the camera to work with me. Ouch! I just woke up. Um... Ow. Dang it. So, uh, yeah, the wind was just too bad yesterday, so I couldn't do it. So, excuse me before I have some sort of X. <laughs> I'm still in my nightgown. Hell, doing a, t a video on YouTube. So, uh, yes. Um, wow, so I'm at like a day late, I've just been busy, busy at work, um, you know, work's been going alright, so, but we're now at, well, it was, yesterday it was 579 days, now it's 580 days, um, a little, little pills, where are, Today's Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I gotta make more tonight. I am all out. So 580 days um, on uh, hormones, HRT, um, and man, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's that's all good. Um. I definitely noticed the last couple of weeks um, more growing pains, as you would say. I mean, usually when you take hormones, I think the first couple of months you start noticing something, and then it, it gets really, really hard um, to notice anything between, like, <coughs> excuse me, I need my coffee. Uh, it's hard to notice anything between um, like a year for me it was like nine months till like a month ago it was I, maybe a month and a half ago I just couldn't I didn't notice any growth it was like I was taking these things just for the fun of it <laughs> that's what it felt like obviously we know that's not the case but I know this is not your typical coffee cup all right but making fun of my redneck coffee cup. <sighs> Nothing like a little caffeine to wash down your spiral lactone. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've noticed a little bit of growth, um, growing pains anyway. We're still hanging around 45. It's actually 45 and a half now. Um, whereas for most of the year they were stuck at 44, so I know I keep wanting to drip down. I remember when I had this thing, I, I didn't even feel it, so that part's good. Um, as you all know from my last video, I mean, 580 days, that, that's, that's a long time. And I honestly, I didn't think I was actually going to make it this far. I mean, I knew I was going to make it this far. I just didn't know I was going to be 
making these videos and you know what these videos when I first started these videos they were pretty much in a selfish selfish way um, gosh darn it a vast virus database has been updated well what do you do why do you interrupt my video just tell me that Excuse me, I'm back now. I know, I just take my coffee and it just burns it out. So, um, what was I talking about? See, it interrupted my train of thought. Now I can't think. So, yeah, 580 days is a long time. And uh, when I started making these videos, um, it was for a very selfish, selfish reason. And it was for myself. Um, when I first started transitioning, it was like, oh my gosh, I got to go see a doctor. I got to go see a therapist. Yeah, I don't want to pay somebody else. I mean, obviously things have turned around to the point where the therapists has helped me, the doctors helped me, and I couldn't have done it without them. But originally, when I first came to the conclusion that, yes, you know what, Jessica, you got to go through this. It's going back and forth. You're buying clothes. You're throwing them away. You're leaving. You're you're destroying yourself, drinking and boozing yourself to death. You need to do something, Jessica, that'll make you happy. And that's, you know, when I started, I, I quit my smoking. I mean, I had to before I took the hormones. I, I had internet hormones already uh, from in-house pharmacy, and it was like, I. I didn't take them, just I brought them to the doctor's office and said, you know what, if you do not prescribe me any, I'm gonna, you know, so I'm gonna do it myself. And the doctor said, well, your blood pressure is a little too high, I can't prescribe you. And I'm like, so it, it brought me back down, and I was able to take my spirolactone for the first month, and not the estrogen, but it gave me a goal, and I worked for it. I worked for it really hard. I think I ate salads the whole entire month. I started exercising that month, and then when I went and saw the doctor again a month later, the doctor's like, wow. <laughs> and it's almost time to do that again. I, I hate to think of it like crashing for a course. But, you know, our bodies, our health, um, I'm not the best <laughs> at taking care of my body, actually. So, um, coffee has a lot to do with it. When I got high blood pressure, I shouldn't be drinking coffee. <laughs> And I don't usually. This is my this is my first cup in like two and a half weeks, so it's all good. Um, I gotta be careful. So, um, let's see. I, you know, five hundred and eighty days is a long time, and these videos they keep adding up. I'm up to the twenty. This is the twenty series. Um. I made all these videos originally to be like, you know what, if they want my RLE, my real life experience, I got it documented. I mean, I guess, yes, that, I mean, that's why I never delete a video. Never. If I put it up, if I finish it, boom, it's there. You can go back and watch my very first video. You can watch my three month video. You can watch me trying to adjust my nightgown. <laughs> and no, that's, that's it, so... There ain't no padded bra on this one. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I wanted to document it, and that was really part of, and I was only fooling myself then. And then it was like, you know, the name change and everything else. It's hard to believe that my name change was only, what is it, May, June, April, May? Yeah, ten months ago. Nine, ten months ago. Nine and a half months ago was my name change. It's hard to believe it hasn't even been a year. I've only been here in New Mexico for what? Eight months? You know, working and living my dream. Um, and, and working with my RLE. I mean, I'm still seeing my therapist. I'm still seeing my doctor. I'm still getting my blood tests on a regular basis. Um... And, and saving money and that's what it's coming down to right now is saving the money I think right now um, I, I am shooting for a goal 
and the goal is to have my SRS GRS whatever term you want to use um, I, I'm shooting for that February or March 2014 so either way it's less than a year from now um, and I've shot those are my goals now for the last I think three or four months those are pretty much the dates that I I haven't set a date I haven't picked a doctor and it's really time to start getting into <laughs> getting into position and, and lining up all the pawns and you know if you're playing chess whatever um, you know taking control of it obviously it's a still a long time away I can't wait for the last minute now can I um, I gotta prepare myself um, I work in the oil field <laughs> here in New Mexico Texas New Mexico you know so I'm able to make you know fifty thousand dollars a year which isn't a lot in today's standards when you look at a professional but it is a lot better than McDonald's or Walmart or, or you know a lot of minimum wage jobs so with that being said and then living of course in this trailer <laughs> which is only four hundred dollars a month kinda helps um, so I'm, I'm taking control, um, and I'm, I'm doing everything I need to do. And um, there's only so much that I can do this without actually stepping forward a little bit. So like I said in my last video, I am actually, um, I, I am, I'm going on April 22nd, which is a Monday, uh, first thing in the morning. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get a new nightgown, that's for number one. Um, I want to see Peter Raffia, uh in the Dallas area. He does SRS surgery uh, in the Dallas area. He's not one of the famous people. He's not a Marcy Bowers. He's not a, a Broussard. He, he's, you know, but he is a doctor in the Dallas Fort Worth area that does SRS. So my first consultation with a doctor is going to be on the 22nd of April. So I'm kind of nervous. I'm excited. Um, in anticipation, I'm, I'm kind of curious what the doctor is going to tell me. Obviously, he's going to say, you know, Jessica, you need to lose some weight. <laughs> but, of course, he's going to tell me everything else that I, I probably need to know. Now, what steps I do with him, or if I even pick him, I still got a long time to decide. I am currently leaning towards Thailand, okay? And I've discussed this with you folks many of times. Um... Thailand for me is just, you know, I might make $50,000 a year, but out of that $50,000, you're amazed how much you actually spend. Living expenses, food, you know, trips to Dallas, I mean, doctors, I, I, I spend a lot. I'm only able to save maybe $10,000 a year. Um, comfortable. I mean, so, and I could probably save a little bit more if I wanted, and I, I might end up doing it right now. I am at $9,000 actually 8800 so and I still have all this time so I'm gonna get my goal I try to put away a thousand dollars a month at least so again that's because I'm out here working in the oil fields of New Mexico and it's not a very glamorous glamorous job but Mr. Brush does make it occasionally back into the picture Mrs. Brush is in my truck because uh, I don't know why I'm brushing my hair. I'm going to jump in the shower after this video. <laughs> so, um, it's kind of a nervous, my first, you know, a consultation. It's it's going to be neat. And even though I'm picking Thailand, I owe it to my friends. I owe it to my relatives. It's just, just jumping on a plane and going to Thailand to get everything done. Snip, 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 fly back. Um... I owe it to my family at least to get a couple of consultations here in the United States and say, hey, you know, I understand your frustration, me going all the way to Thailand. I can't, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I tried. Okay. So, um, yeah. It's going to be an exciting time. Um, nervous, exciting, curious what the doctor says so that's next month so things are still happening in my transitioning other than my nightgown ah, 
Look at me. <laughs> God, <you're so> <laughs> Gotta be careful. All right, so things are still happening. My transition. Twenty months late. I mean, this is twenty-one months. This is almost at two years. We're year, one year, uh, seven months, and things are still happening. Okay. Um. Obviously, in a couple months, I have a vacation with work, and this is if I still last my job, which hopefully I should. Um. I'll. I, I'm basically gonna have a vacation from January first all the way to. January 11th, or I mean, uh, June. <laughs> I, 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 I think I'm starting to wake up. My motor skills ain't working yet. So, on June 1st, I, I'm going on vacation for 11 days. Um, it's actually five days and two weekends. Um, I'm going to visit a couple of my sisters down in Arizona on my way to visit. Uh, another sister in California which <laughs> is gonna be fun I'm looking forward to that um, and yes they know about me and everything else so it's all good what I'm thinking of doing when I visit my uh, my sisters in Arizona though either to or from California because I'm gonna drive um, is I'm gonna see uh, Meltzer uh, what I'm planning on I, I haven't set an appointment yet I've checked his calendar I think he's gonna be in town so it will be interesting. He, of course, I will not be able to afford. <laughs> I think he's like twenty-six thousand or twenty-three thousand, or it's like twenty thousand dollars. It's like no way. Um, and you're like Jessica. You already got nine thousand dollars saved up. Quit being, you know. It's like I've discussed before, because I'm a truck driver. You know, going up and down the steps in the big truck. After a surgery like that, I'm gonna have to take a couple months off. So. But it's important, you know, like I said, to me, to let my family know that, hey, I'm, I'm getting everything, I'm getting wisdom before I just fly off. I mean, so, that's what I got planned. I mean, so, this month something happening, and of course, um, in April, something's, I mean, something's happening in April. Uh, something's happening in May, I guess it's going to be pretty much my birthday. I'll be one years old. <laughs> Jessica will be one. Um, actually, no, she'll be one in, in June. Um, but it's still my birthday in May. I don't care. Um, and then June, of course, I'm going to try to get another consultation with either Meltzer. Um, and then when I go to California, if I can't get an appointment with Meltzer, I'm going to try to get an appointment with Alter. Um, down in Costa Mesa, California, down south. California, Southern California. Um, I'm not going to make it up to the Bay Area or nothing, so um, this is going to be a quick little jaunt, you know, from New Mexico over to Arizona, over to Southern California, and then back. So I look forward to that. I got things that are planning. I got things that I'm doing. I'm still, I, I don't know. I am doing what is best for me and in my timeline. Um, I don't think I'm moving too fast. I, actually, I think I'm moving pretty slow. Um, I discussed this in my last video that, you know, when I first started transitioning, um, I want to say it was like four or five years ago when I really knew that, hey, there's other options. You know, she male is not your only option, okay? It's like, that's why I was drinking. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be dope. No. That, that ain't me. And so I was destroying myself. I wasn't happy. And I hated putting on a macho charade. My brothers always did it better than me. And it was like, my brothers knew it. I mean, they didn't know about me, but <laughs> they knew something was up. <laughs> so, but no, it, it just if I would have saved like a hundred bucks or fifty bucks or, or something a week or a paycheck way back then all the way to now I I wouldn't be having to cram I, I think I'm starting to cram all this money in and everything else and it's I don't know um, I, I'm going crazy saving the money I'll tell you that it's not easy 
Um, I know I'm not eating right because of it. I'll get some money I can be using for good food. I'm, I'm just getting like noodles and cheap stuff which are adding on the calories. <laughs> Um, which is all good. Like I said, I'm going to start eating better. I got to start cramming for this test later on this month. My work is going to be, they have like a doctor and it's going to be in a, um, like a big van. They pull up into these small towns and these, like a big semi truck with in the back of the trailer is actually a doctor's office. They're going to be doing all the blood tests. They're going to be doing everything. Um, not for me, not for Jessica, the transgender, but for Jessica, the female, I mean, and that's another thing, um, which I did not expect to happen. I mean, 20 months ago, when I started these videos, you, you could tell I was pretty nervous. I, I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know what was going to happen. I was scared. Obviously, I just took one thing, at, you know, one step at a time, and I got to where I am now, but um, it was definitely a nervous time. Now I forgot what I was going to say. <clears throat> I do not like mornings, and I gotta get me a new nightgown. This is <sighs> I need to get ready for work. See, I'm lucky. It's what? It's seven o'clock in the morning. At, out in the oil field, <laughs> everybody else is usually gone. They're like, I go to work whenever I feel like it. I just I don't. You remember a couple months ago? I started like at two o'clock in the morning, and then I like, got in a wreck. I, I ran into a pole in the ground, me and a pole in the ground, and they said, no more nighttime driving, Jessica. You know, don't start at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's like, okay, I'll just start whatever I wake up. <laughs> now I wake up, make a video. I, I apologize, because I was going to make this last night. I just got home, I was too tired. Um, my raise did finally kick in for sure now, so that's good. I could start saving up for that. Um, and that, that extra couple hundred dollars, every paycheck is going to help, obviously. Um, but it's a lot of hard work. I mean, it's... I don't even know why I'm brushing my hair. <laughs> I don't even get Mr. Brushing Hair. See, you thought I was going to throw this... You know what? I just need to sign this and auction Mr. Brush off. That's what I need to do. So, if, if you're interested in having Mr. Brush, I'll even leave all the little hairs in it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just leave all the hairs in them there, and yeah, I'll just. No, it's not that bad. I try to clean it every now and then. <laughs> uh, it's just amazing. Twenty months ago, how I, I I got this way, and you know when I first started, it was like you know, negotiating with the doctor, you know, and then I saw the therapist after I got the subscription. Obviously, I. I I promised the doctor and I kept my promise and I started seeing a therapist, a counselor, um, and she's really good. She she specializes in transgender, so that was really neat. Um, she's helped me way more than anything. And then work, um, that was one thing when I, I figured I was going to do, I was like, well, you know what, if, if hormones do take effect, and this was a key factor 20 months ago, I don't think I've ever said this in my videos, maybe I did. I, I'm sure I did somewhere, but I always told myself that, you know what, if hormones did this to me, you know, three months ago, <laughs> I mean, it's, they're not that bad, but you know what I'm saying, if they would have done that to me at three months or whatever, when I still wasn't out at work, I, I was getting ready to bind, I was going to bind, and I was starting to, actually, um, I was not binding, but I was wearing small tank tops, sort of like a bind, um, and I was just nervous because I was always looking down. And when you look down, you see a more perspective than someone looking forward. So, obviously, I am going to get breast augmentation because these little things, they're there. No, you can't see. <laughs> they're there and the girls are there. So, um, I, I just... I've been so happy and in control, and I've looked at all the comments, um, believe me, all the subscribers, I did not know this is going to happen, I thank you folks, obviously my channel is not a, a publicity thing, I, I don't want 5,000, you know, subscribers, because if I had 5,000 subscribers, I, I know something was up, I don't know, I, 
I'm me. I'm sharing a story. I'm rambling. I I make these to help me. So, and that's what's important. Um, I look back, you know, five years after surgery. Um, I can look back at these and go, wow. And I look back at a lot of them now. I look back at the first couple and I'm like, wow, I was really like that? Just amazing how far we've come. Um, obviously, and how far further I've got to go. It, it's like, I, yeah, am I done over halfway with my transition now? I don't think I'm ever going to be halfway done. It's kind of weird um, when you put it in terms like that. It takes transitioning, I think, always happens. Everything's always changing. As, far, as long as you're willing to open up and let learn you know if you're always learning something about you or yourself see transitioning has so much it's, it's more than just you know a little bit of fat redistribution around the cheeks it's, it's more than that it's more than you know you know having the girls start growing a little bit or or getting a little bit on the thighs you know it's it's more than that transitioning has a lot to do with what's inside the head so um my journey so far has been good. I've had no negative experiences. Of course, I am sort of in stealth, and I don't do it intentionally. Intentionally, it's just I'm not going to go blab out, you know, my own personal thing. If somebody came up to me and said, hey, "You're you're transgender," I'd be like, "Yeah, so I'm not going to go to Walmart and announce it over the PA speaker. It ain't everybody in Walmart's business." <laughs> And obviously, I mean, I still got, I'm probably going to need facial feminization surgery. I mean, this is me with no makeup. I mean, so without heavy makeup, of course, it's how we perceive ourselves. And the biggest thing, um, or the biggest improvement anybody's seen, um, when they look at myself and, and they look at how I used to be, there's one thing that stands out the most, and that's my smile. <laughs> it is. It's not fake. Um, there have been some good times, some frustrating times, but all in all, it's been so much better. It's not even comp in, in comparison uh, to anything um, ever. Um, <coughs> I can't. I need to get something. I put this in here um, a couple of days ago. Yes. And I think I put this in, in my old video too. Yeah, I think I did. Maybe not. But I put this in my Facebook page. Which, if you don't subscribe to my Facebook page, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but I, I put this on there, I think it was March 18th. I said, what? When you say that you don't, yeah, I've read this before. When you say that you don't understand, then remember I ain't looking for approval or understanding. Um, I'm not going to explain myself over and over again, um, or prove to you what you know makes me smile or or makes me tick. Instead, I only wish my friends and family see that it's me that I'm truly happy, happier and healthier than I've ever been in my entire life. Nobody, not even I, should question that. This is just how things were meant to be. And this is it. This is my journey. And I'm glad I'm able to share it with some of you folks. Um, obviously, i got a long ways to go, and I'm, I'm making steps. And, and there's always something happening. Um, so, and you just got to remember... Um, it, it, it can be daunting it, it sometimes it, it's it's not as complicated though as people make it and it makes it a lot easier if you're if you're if you be true and you be yourself but those two things if you're always true and you're always yourself and you're true to yourself, hell, it makes it a lot easier. There ain't no reason to lie to you, 
to Joe, to Jen, to Martha, Marcy, uh, Fred, Ralph, and and Jemima. I, I, <laughs> it, you just got to be true, and you got to be yourself. With those two things in there, it, it, it's all gonna it's all gonna mesh in there, and that's what makes everything worthwhile. So I know I gotta shave. This is the first video I've made in a long time. I didn't even shave. I should probably get up really close. Huh? No, I'm not gonna do that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'd stare you all. You'd be like, "What the hell?" <laughs> I gotta take a shower. I gotta get ready to work. Right, again, I'm sorry I'm a day late, but this is the 20 series, and you know what? It's all good. Be true. Be yourself. And until next time, peace. See, I didn't shave. <laughs> Fine.